Good morning. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, and we are going through this study as we're going through verse by verse every line. Today we're at 11, verse 4. Jesus is teaching his disciples at their request, teach us how to pray. Today, verse 4, straight to it. And forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Well, let's talk about the first part, forgive us our sins. Uh, we should forgive others, and we want God to forgive us. That seems like a pretty fair deal, doesn't it? I mean, especially since we don't necessarily merit or deserve forgiveness, but it's a gift from heaven to us, and so we should take him up on it. But it's not just about me being forgiven. It's about me being a, a part of God's redemption plan on planet Earth. There's all kinds of people who have wronged other people. Maybe they've wronged me and I need to forgive them. And, and by the way, why wouldn't I forgive them? Because as long as I don't forgive them, I'm letting their behavior have a controlling impact on me. Hey, you know what? I, I don't worship them. I worship the God of heaven. So I don't want anybody's behavior to have a controlling influence on me, anybody except Jesus. So if I want to forgive others as I would like to be forgiven. And so I need to practice that. And maybe somebody doesn't forgive me like they should, because I've sought forgiveness, but they say, no, I'm never going to forgive you. You know what? You pray for them anyway and treat them kindly and leave that with the Lord. But anyway, there's a second piece here, right? Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil or deliver us from the evil one. It could be translated either, either way. And I lean to deliver us from the evil one, just as do not lead us into temptation. That's asking a personal God to, to be my guide so that I don't go in the wrong direction and uh, put myself right in the middle of all this temptation. If it's a personal God, and then I want to be delivered from evil, but there's a personal devil as well. And so del help deliver me, deliver us from the evil one. Not just me, but deliver us from the evil one. I think that's the best translation here. There are personal, uh, Satan is a personal being. His fallen angel comrades are personal beings, and they are specifically out to cause yours and my destruction. So yes, not, not good, not good beings. We want to be right. So we want God to deliver us from him, and that should be a part of our daily prayer to Jesus. These beings are way smarter, way more powerful than we are. We need God's help. We need God's help. You're going to fight demons on your own. You're going to lose. But with the help of Jesus, we will prevail. Now let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to have a forgiving spirit toward all that cross our path. Help us, Lord, also to seek especially God's guidance and to especially ask and receive your help to be forgiven, to be delivered from evil. This is our prayer today. Uh, we actually have distinct personal beings attacking us, trying to bring us down. Lord, you are a distinct personal being, and you're on our side. Hallelujah, and praise to your name. We give thanks to you in Jesus' name. Amen. So friends, God's blessings be upon you today. Yes, we're weaving our way through a world of messed with by evil angels and messed, messed up people. But, but if we're on Jesus' side, we will prevail. God's blessings be with you.